Hey there everyone, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Drydocks.com. At one of our recent Dive Tribe meetings, we talked about waterproof servos and whether they were actually waterproof. Um, talked about the high-tech waterproof servos. We wanted to give it a try to see how waterproof-ish they were in a very uh, non-scientific way. Let's see what happened. Okay, little bit of background here. High Tech uh, recently came out with a line of quote unquote waterproof servos. Now they're rated uh, as IP67, which is basically uh, suspension in less than one meter of water for less than a certain amount of time. I can't remember what it is, but that kind of excited the RC submarine community because now we started thinking, well, now we can mount servos in the wet part of our boat. But uh, recently had uh, an upholder model with one of these servos mounted in it and it did fail. So um, we wanted to do a an independent test. We took one of these uh, high-tech servos and they're not cheap, they're about $50 uh, when you grab them online. Um, but what we did is um, dunked it in our top secret test tank. You can see it sitting there on the bottom. Now that poor lonely servo has been sitting at the bottom of this six foot by two foot deep test tank uh, for the last uh, week. Actually a week and a day is how long it's been sitting in there um, at the bottom. So what we've done uh, basically every time we come out here to test a boat uh, or test our cylinders, we reach in there, grab it, manipulate the horn um, so put those seals to a little bit of a test uh, underneath there. So I'd say about five to six times per day that um, linkage horn has been manipulated in there at depth, at about two feet of depth. So now is the time where we find out whether or not this thing actually functions after being submerged in the water for a week. All right, so this is the first time that this servo has seen uh, air basically in uh, a week. I've got my servo tester here right now. I'm gonna reach in to our water, and grab out the servo. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, plug it in and see what happens. So uh, we plugged it in and it's functioning. It uh, seems to be functioning perfectly. Uh, you can center, I can sweep. So what I'm hoping was that that failure in that boat I was telling you about earlier was simply a faulty servo um, and not, uh, you know, sort of the, the status quo for these units. Um, I'm hoping that because I've used them extensively in that big Baleo build that I've got going on. But um, I would say for now, for at least this specific servo, um, it's been tested to a depth of two feet, uh, which is about two thirds of what its rated depth uh, is supposed to be for a period of a week and uh, still going strong. So I don't know if I've debunked anything, but uh, we wanted to give it a try just uh, for fun. If you're thinking about using it, um, I would say based on the results of this little experiment, it'd be pretty safe to do so, but maybe you wanna grab a spare just in case. Well, there you go, another little fun experiment uh, brought to you by the team at the Nautilus Dry Docks. My name is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. If you like the kind of stuff that I'm doing here, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. If you got questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Bob at NautilusDryDocks.com. I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.